Fatal Attractions, which partially was adapted in X-Men 97 also, just like Inferno, like an element of Inferno. If you piece the comics together, there's some other like supplementary comics that kind of go with it. So like you got to know a couple things that happened before you start it so you have like the acolytes they were with magneto in in the first in the beginning the first three magneto comics of volume two of x-men it was the last three comics that claremont wrote magneto's thought dead that's the way that they ended that run also there's the legacy virus it's in some comics preceding this now the legacy virus came with strife strife's the actual architect of the legacy virus because it's a the virus uh, based uh, um, from the future. Basically, when Strife gets defeated at the end of Executioner's Song, the legacy virus is his gift to the world from him, his legacy, so to speak, right? So these were badass comics, dude. And they had the hologram cards on the front. That's what this black space is, right? You had Wolverine, Gambit, Magneto, a couple other people. It's a six book run. Part of what happens, Ileana Rasmutin, Magic, she gets from the legacy virus, a couple of books before this. Supplemental reading for this, you can read Uncanny X-Men 298 that's the return of the acolytes which is fabian cortez and fabian cortez if you watch the x-men animated the original in the 90s fabian cortez's power is he can charge up and use mutants powers or have or amplify it for them and then x uncanny x-men 299 it's like a battle between fabian cortez like game master there's like these four villains dude right and they're all like you know which one whichever one of us does whatever scores the most will be the ones in control of each other's henchmen type of shit and then there's x-men unlimited number two and that gets into a more detailed version of mag Magneto going to visit the grave of Magda, which is his wife, which is the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver's mom. And there's Uncanny um, X-Men 303. That has to do with the legacy virus. And basically, Ileana Rasmutin magic. She's in the Inferno saga that we're reading. They go back and they kind of talk about her like it's like Jubilee talking to Jean Grey. And they're talking about the legacy virus. And they don't even know it's called the legacy virus at this point. They're trying to figure out what it is. They just know that people in Genosha got it, blah, 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 blah. And then they kind of go through the history of Ileana. So basically, she dies from the legacy virus. So we're going in with all that shit that happened. So that's kind of where we're at. This run has two famous events that happen. X-Factor 92. Fatal Attractions. Out of the light and into thy father's shadow. Wanta, Virginia. You have to understand, this is a hospice. We we don't work here for the pay. Believe me, it, it, it isn't much. We work here. Good afternoon, nurse. We are the acolyte. We are here to slaughter flat scans. So the acolytes call flat scans humans, right? That's their that's their racist name for human beings. Because we care. Oh, sorry. And then, yeah, you have to understand this is hospice. We work here because we care. People come to us at their weakest, their most vulnerable, and, and we help them face death with a little dignity and a little love. Nurse Murray Leslie, if this is too difficult, you don't have to. No, no, Dr. Cooper. I need to talk about it. It's the only way. And that's Val Cooper. I'll be able to understand. Must you, Kleinstocks, always be so melodramatic? Ah, oh, Havitz, you simply have no flair. What good is the kill if it's not executed with a little panache, some verbal fainting before plunging in the sword? We're not here for amusement. We're here to deliver retribution in Magneto's name. Agreed, Spore. Understand, there's no understanding these. Quiet, Pietro. Let her talk. So let's do it. And then, oh, so they're in the hospital right here. Yeah, and I think X, uh, X Factor's on the other side. Okay, got it, got it. Because Pietro's Quicksilver. I wanted to get up and say something, do something, but I was so scared, rooted to the spot. All I could do was watch like a helpless little child. It's like a nurse, dude, of course. As the massacre began, there was nothing you could have done. Those men are brutal, vicious, beyond. You don't have to explain to me. Mr. Summers, I experienced it firsthand. So they're just wrecking shop. Let's do it. Just killing humans, dude. Because they're the acolytes. They're all Magneto's followers. They think Magneto's dead. They've come back to wreak havoc on everybody. A lot of them died with Magneto, right? Time for your five o'clock shot. I've worked uh, with the dying for over six years. Sounds depressing, but it's not. When people face death, they change. It's like all the broken walls between us are just broken down. The soul shines through. I've watched people die, held them while they let go. I know it's hard to believe but they radiated such joy such sanctity what are you doing call it an act of divine vengeance or call it cold-blooded murder makes no difference to me the worst thing those animals did dr cooper was to rob those souls of their radiance why what possible reason could you have for ah, for... i'll never forget the one with that whip Senyaka, what Senyaka said to me, you flat scans just don't get it, do you? You never get it. You deserve this. This and far worse. 
deserve it. What in God's name did I, did any of us do to deserve being treated like that? The way the acolytes look at it, Leslie, your biggest mistake was being born human. Then, then what they say is true. Mutants, they hate us just for being normal. Normal is a relative concept, Nurse Murray. But I mean, I didn't mean... I know you didn't, and I want you to know that the followers of Magneto are no more typical examples of mutant kind than Hitler's were typical examples of humankind. X-Factor wouldn't be here investigating this atrocity, much less working for the federal government, if we were cut from the same cloth as those. That's Alex. Come on, Alex. Pietro, Leslie needs her rest. I can't think of a word loathsome enough. Wait, what kind of man can this Magneto be? to inspire such insanity? That's a question I've asked myself too many times over too many years. What is it? What's wrong? Out of here now. We're losing her. Making 30 years of excellence, courtesy of Scott Lobdell, Joe Casada, J.M. DeMathis, Al McGrom. The man who wasn't. We're losing her. And she's walking through walls like Shadow Cat. That looks like underwater. My Lord Cortez. The remains of the Russian submarine Leningrad, somewhere in the Atlantic. I have returned, my Lord. Obviously. I, I'm ready to make my report at your order. Stop groveling, Scanner, and spit it out. We've dealt the humans a horrible blow, but I, I, I still wonder, my Lord. Yes? Those people were no threat to us, to any mutants. Why? Were they human? Yes. Then, and correct me if I'm wrong, hasn't the boot heel of humanity always trampled over our kind? Y yes, yes, my lord. Then why? Then they were a threat. Ah, Scanner, you don't see. They're genetically linked. One mind, one heart, one soul. Twisted evil. Full of hatred for all that's different. Your naivete touches me, but... You have to learn and learn quickly that compassion for humans, even the weakest ones, is extremely dangerous. Our true lord and master, the great Magneto, would want you to understand this. But, but the master's son, he seems so upset by what we... He, is my concern. Rest assured, Quicksilver will be mine. Ours by nightfall. I have certain operatives in the place. Oh, you know what? I wanted to say something when I saw this other show. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, Government run X-Factor, dude. And that's why they kind of had Val Cooper and the X-Men 97 show and all that. But that's what I was saying when I did my team breakdown. You know, you had the gold team, the blue team, and then you had X-Factor was the government ran mutants. I think that's a good... Um, like story outline and way they should do it if they do it on live action that's that would be a unique way that mutants haven't been covered because they just mix smashed x-men and x-factor and x-force members into the different teams in the fox verse anyways i have certain operatives in place that even now come on alex let's get down to the holding cell are seeing to it and check up on our prize package the pentagon well spore what have you got to say for yourself Hard to talk behind this muzzle, Havoc, my lad. Why don't you cut why don't you cut me loose? And I'll give you a mouthful. You seem to think this is funny. You're charged with murder on a mass scale, and considering that your buddies got away clean, the full weight of the law is coming down on your ugly head. Flat scan law, Polaris. Don't mean a bloody thing to me. Maybe wait, he's supposed to be a wop, huh? And maybe we're just a skip of the law then. Maybe we'll just take you out here and now. I hate Strong Guy, dude. I'm supposed to like him because he's a Guido, right? That'll be enough, Guido. But we do things here by the book. Understood? That's right, you stinking traitor. You play by the human's rules. You gotta play all the way. And that means I got rights. You've got nothing. Fucking... Havoc blasts his ass. Nice. Far as I'm concerned, you gave up your rights the moment you engaged in the murder. Excuse me, genetic cleansing of innocent human beings. Now you'll cooperate with us or I swear I'll... The only thing you're gonna swear, Summers, is to back off. You back off, Val. I'm handling this my way. You do what I say now or I'll have you out of here and off this team so fast even Quicksilver's head will spin. Somebody mentioned my name? The sun. Why are you wasting time questioning this animal? Animal. We should just dig a very deep hole, throw him in, and toss several tons of dirt in after him. No doubt he'll feel right at home. What is it with you people? Has everybody been taking attitude lessons from the Punisher? Next to this affront to decency, Valerie, the Punisher seems as pure as Captain America, the sun. Huh? Did I miss? Did I miss a something? I mean, did the Pope just a walk in the room or maybe Sharon Stone? I know strong guy doesn't talk that way. But I'm just going to do stereotypes, dude. Unbelievable. Tis sacrilege. I bow before ye in surrender and submission. Only begotten son of the mighty 
wrathful lord. Looks like after all these years of wanting to be God, Pietro finally got his wish. That's Farrell, Rain, Sinclair. That's why she has the Scottish accent, all right? Okay, one hour later. Wait a minute. Hey, I said, wait a minute. So you did, but we don't have a minute. Lady, what is your problem? At the moment, you are. You think you can just take Pietro and go off to Kentucky investigating Spore's confession and leave the rest of us here? As a matter of fact, I do. The only reason Spore told us anything is because he thinks Quicksilver is the second coming. If his information is correct, the Acolytes are planning to hit our military installation at Cape Hayden. Then, the last thing we need is all of you there flexing your muscle and making matters worse. I'm betting Pietro will have the same effect on the others that he had on Spore and help us avoid a bloodbath. And if he can't, then I brought along some insurance. Hey bud, how's it hanging? random you're leaving us behind and taking that mutant bounty hunter with you are you out of your mind what i am summers is in charge but now shut your mouth and get away from the helicopter wow so val cooper's a female she's the one that's the boss and nobody was ranting and raving in the 90s because they weren't fucking doing it with all the different characters she happened to be the other liaison that they worked for and she was the one in charge of x factor so what a concept we're in a hurry you on them, Lorna? Best I can. Good. Let's get that new transport forge whipped up for us airborne. There's something out of whack here. I'm bloody well gonna find out what. So if you guys don't know, Al uh, Alex Summers is Havoc is the leader of X Factor. Man, we got some heavy text-ridden panels here. Lorna, if you don't to start to steering this thing straight, then my stomachs are gonna come up out to my nose. Please, Guido. No jokes. I'm trying to concentrate. Who's a joke? And anybody got an Alka Salsa? Alex, make him stop. Knock it off, Guido. Lorna's using her magnetic power to propel this baby and keep tabs on the copter. If you keep distracting her with your idiotic banter, we're never gonna make it to Camp Hayden. I just want to make it to the bathroom before I hurl. Lorna, are you sure you up to this piece of cake? Please, I don't talk about the food. This is peculiar. I've called up all the files on Cape Hayden and it's low prior as low priority a military base can get. Another casualty of the budget cuts scheduled to be shut down next year. Now, what would the Acolytes want with a place like that? Obviously, targeting areas randomly. They don't care who or where, as long as they're killing flat scans. Jamie, are you right? You look awful. Nothing to worry about, kiddo. I'm just... Lorna, what'd you do? Why'd you hit the brakes? It wasn't me, Alex. Something grabbed us from outside. Nice, Guido. Very nice. How about cleaning it up? I don't know if one of those quotes were from uh, Strong Guy, but whatever. Yeah, sure. But the first, uh, could somebody please tell me who that is? I don't know how long I could do Guido. Never seen him before. Just what we need. A new costum lunatic out to destroy us. No. Take a good look at him. He doesn't appear hostile, in fact. He looks like he's waiting, pondering. Exodus. As if there's something he wants to say to us. But not sure if this is the right time. Whoosh. And then he like flew off and shit. Okay. I guess it wasn't. We should, should we follow him? We file, uh, we file him under M for mystery and come back to him later. Right now, we need you to get us moving again. With pleasure, lover, but not until Guido. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up. Yeah, and Havoc and Polaris. And then Iceman always likes Polaris too, even though, you know, Iceman's now quote unquote gay, right? But he's always chasing Polaris around too. Camp Hayden, isn't it time you stop pretending, Valerie? Pretending? I don't know what you're, I don't believe a word about what you told us about this place. The Acolytes may be bloodthirsty, but they're not stupid. If they're willing to risk taking on the U.S. Army, there's got to be something here they're hungry for. I'm telling you, Pietro, there's nothing. This is probably the sleepiest little army base this side of. Okay, muties. Wah. Freeze. Right where you are. Beetle Bailey? Huh? Then how come I'm not laughing? Quiet and step away from the human. Nice and slow. You've got five seconds, freaks. Or you're both dead. Five, four, three. Quicksilver fucking takes him apart. Two, one, zero. Okay, go ahead, shoot. Oh, but you don't have your guns, do you? Th that's impossible. Miraculous, isn't it? 
what we muty freaks can do when we put our minds to it. Just be grateful I didn't beat you all senseless while I was at it. Heaven knows you little tin can racists deserve it. You're one of the bloodline for racism, Mr. Maximov. Or need I remember you of the war your family has been waging against humankind for far too many years. Oh, but what am I saying? You work for our side now, don't you? Senator Kelly, your sleepy little army base is getting more and more interesting, Valerie. What in the world were you thinking, Miss Cooper, bringing these two here? You don't have clearance for what I think is none of your business, Senator. As for clearance, my position as mutant liaison gives me security clearance far beyond yours. So get out of my face and get out of my way. Strong whammon. Again, no problems back in the 90s because it wasn't every single freaking book. So yeah, so uh, also like in some of those other books that I mentioned, like the ones that are kind of supplementary for this, they had a debate between Senator Kelly and then it's Graydon Creed, which is Sabretooth and freaking Mystique's son and who's running for president and goes ends up running for president. And then they had Senator Kelly there like facilitating. It's kind of reminiscent actually of God Love Man Kills with Stryker and freaking Professor X. Okay, so back to the book. I seem to detect a change in you, Valerie, for the better, I hope. I haven't decided yet, although if you're looking for approval, a bit of honesty will help immeasurably. To put this in layman's terms, lady, what the f*** is going on here? I was going to tell you when, when, when I thought the time was right. Valerie, the time is right. What is it the acolytes want here? Several months ago, the Senate held a closed-door meeting of several secret committees concerned with, you'll excuse the expression, the mutant problem. They authorized the use of... And these are their words, not mine. Prudent and necessary force with which to contain potential mutant aberrations. That's when Project Wide Awake was funded. Wide Awake? What's it do? Set off a really big alarm clock in Kelly's bedroom whenever another g hits puberty? Click? Not exactly. Sentinels, prototypes combining the finest features of the classic models with the evolving and far superior Nimrod type. So this exactly ties into Bastion and Nimrod and X-Men 97. And again, they mishmashed all these stories up, but sequentially in order, this happens. And then you get into Operation Zero Tolerance. And But they happen like out of order. Onslaught happens before Operation Zero Tolerance. We obviously haven't gotten Onslaught yet. We only got Operation Zero Tolerance in the show leaving onslaught for later okay the senate decided that the private sector had control of these sentinels for too long so so they decided to go into mutant slaughtering business themselves and you knew about this havoc i i specifically ordered you to i don't want to hear it another lecture about following orders mind fear just answer the question have you known about this all along gentlemen ladies the the first responsibility of a democracy is to the majority the sad truth is the majority of americans fears mutants fears mutant kind and frankly as long as there are maniacs like the acolytes out there their fears are wholly justified you want the reason to fear us then just wait till you see what we do to your precious prototypes. I didn't think you'll reign. No. What, Pietro? You cannot be. I can't be serious. You should know by now that I'm the most serious man alive. And with good reason. I understand the psyches of the acolytes and their kind far better than you or Val or Senator Kelly ever could. Because the blood of... Man, look at that Magneto art is dope, dude. Because the blood of their savior runs in my veins. He may not have raised me, but make no mistake, I am Magneto's son. And there's the acolytes. And my inheritance has been a grisly one. I know the broken heart that curses homo sapiens with every angry beat. I know the twisted mind that actually takes pride in being called an evil mutant. There's the sentinels. I am not going to explain or debate the forces that create such men that drove me to such desperate ends because the only pertinent question is, do these men exist? And if they do, do humans have a right to protect themselves from them in whatever way they can. Are you saying that they do? My father may be dead, but his presence lives on. The man who isn't there, sowing the seeds of hatred and frightened embittered mutants. I believe to the bottom of my soul that humankind not only has a right to protect itself from Magneto's legacy, it must protect himself. Crack. 
Kaboom. Blowing through the side of a mountain. Now that's an entrance with style. Spare us your posturing, Javits, and attend to the task at hand. I want their base thrown into absolute chaos, and I want the son of Magnus. You want him? You got him. Courtesy of Senyaka. You're all starting to sound like the Kleinstocks. This isn't a game. We're not here to pump your egos. The cause is about working together, self-sacrifice, and in the name of our Lord. Tell you what, Frenzy, you follow your path to salvation and let me follow mine. Did we just a win of something? I doubt it. Unless you're considering the Acolytes a prize. Guess Spore was telling the truth. How utterly unlike him. Skip the character analysis, Summers, and get this team moving. I don't want to see a repeat of what happened in Virginia. And you won't, but just remember, Val, when this is over, we've got a lot to talk about. They must be here to take out the Sentinels. Or capture them. Think of the damage those animals could do with such power in their hands. Frankly, I don't give a flame and what they want. Long as I get my fee when the smoke clears. So I don't know if this guy's like supposed to be like Lobo or what. I don't remember him much. Your generosity or of spirit is humbling, random. Hey, I don't see you not cashing your paycheck on payday. Listen, you haggling over a handful of silver Judases, one and all bought and paid for by your flat scan masters i have some mild admiration for xavier's other misguided followers but you boot licking slime simply turn my stomach i think i got some alka salsa left guido please you worship a dead megalomaniac i worship the almighty dollar guess which one of us is gonna retire to a five-bedroom house in maui random wait we need Plan of attack. Security. Yes, Senator. This is turning ugly. Senyaka, down. Thanks for taking out the incoming, brothers. But I'll finish him off. The base is expendable, and so is X-Factor. But the Sentinels must be protected at all costs. That's Kelly. Well, well, Senyaka, the nurse killer. This whip of yours has really done some serious damage. I mean, grabbing it like this should be causing me no end of excruciating pain. And don't get me wrong, little man, it is. I mean, I'm really hurting. Prepare to initiate Operation Vanish. Ouch. Bloom on my command. Why, Polaris? Before I crush the life out of you with my psionic skeleton, just tell me, why denigrate yourself and your race by playing monkey to the flat scan organ grinders? Take my word for it, Unision. Lorna Dane is nobody's monkey. Crack boom. I do what I do because I love my kind and because I am sick to death of hate mongers like you and Senator Kelly who are so afraid of our uniqueness and diversity that you reduce all people, human and mutant, to convenient stereotypes and labels. The lady makes nice speeches. Maybe you've got a nice speech to make before I snap your neck. Speech? Me? Uh, I'm a just a big dumb klutz. Whoops. See? I told you. What a klutz. Knock the beam right out, and here comes the roof. Are you crazy? Nope. You see, I'm the kind of guy you drop a building on, and I just absorbs the energy, which means I get bigger and stronger. Now I know this is hard to believe. Even more handsome. Hey, you're not listening. Swam. That's the problem with kids today. All that Sesame Street and MTV, and they simply got no attention span. Uh, two against one, guys. This just isn't right. Didn't your fathers uh, teach you how to fight fair? Multiple man. Now me, I always fight fair. But of course I had to. You see, I was a pretty solitary kid. And the only one I ever had to fight with was myself. You've been working alongside flat scan so long, Havoc, that you've become just like them. Soft, weak, inferior. Out to destroy the inferior race in Magneto's name? Don't you know what an insult that is to the memory of the very man you claim to worship? Fifty years after Magnus barely survived a holocaust that destroyed almost all his people, all because some lunatic took it upon himself to decide who deserved to live and who didn't. Where's the sense in resurrecting that kind of evil in the name of one of its victims? You've seen this place, Havoc. You've seen the Sentinels. You tell me. Where's the sense in letting the flat scans do to mutants what Hitler did to the Jews? Don't Doesn't it make more sense to strike first and destroy them all before the next Holocaust? No, it doesn't. Fucking Havoc blasts his ass.
Uh, and Havocs aren't um, concussive like uh, his are energy, like plasma attacks, unlike um, Cyclops. Pathetic, isn't it? Brother against brother while the humans prepare their weapons of genocide. You could end this, you know, instantly, son of Magnus. Then talk. Oh, I'm talking to you. Then talk, but be quick about it. Runs behind him. I'm not a very patient man. I cut a path through your doppelgangers, Madrox, and now I'm going to cut a path through your heart. But before I slice you open like a piece of ripe fruit, I think I'll take out your eyes. After all, you've been blind to Magneto's truth for so long. That it only seems fitting. Stop it. Stop. Oh, dear God, please. It hurts. Stop begging. It's embarrassing. Now be still and face your death with some dignity. I'm sorry, Melon Camp. I truly am. Oh, but you didn't leave me any choice. Easy <laughs> for you to say. Oh, so one of his clones like appeared in him and shit or what? Crazy. Evac command received. Initiate. Senator Kelly, I presume. Frenzy, isn't it? Oh, right. You're the mutant expert. Know more about me than I know about myself. Probably got a big fat file marked exterminate. Too dangerous to live. I'm not afraid of you, any of you. There's a security team headed here right now, and, and by the time they arrive, you'll be dead. Kill me, and you'll be the greatest ally I've ever had. GC murders United States Senator. Even the ACL you will be screaming for mutant blood there'll be uh there will be a project wide awake in every state in the union they'll be popping up all over the free world a martyr to the cause kelly doesn't seem like your style but i'll do what i can to oblige you in case you didn't notice senator i just saved your life a lot of people would think that was a mistake they'd say you're as bad as your way as magneto is in his but I'm still naive to believe that even the hardest heart can be changed by an act of simple kindness. Prove me wrong, Senator, and I just might be back to finish what Frenzy started. How's my uh, uh, Scottish accent, huh? This has all been staged for your benefit, you know. Mine? Don't feign surprise, Pietro. I saw you down there standing apart from the others, observing, pondering. You tower above all of us, son of Magnus. To your dull eyes, I appeared to be standing still, Cortez, but in the time it took you to blink, I was across the complex several times, saving the lives of the fl the humans you're so desperate to destroy. You almost said flat scans, didn't you? In a abhorrent term. An apt one as... You well know. If there's a point to this, I'd advise you make it now. You're getting on my nerves. Your father was a visionary. My father was a, and you share that vision, madman. No matter how hard you may try to deny, to repress it, agree to lead the acolytes, Pietro. Guide them to the promised land your father dreamed of. And I'll call an end to this mindless bloodletting this very instant. Guide your band of demented little brown shirts in a bloody crusade against everyone they hate and fear. Do you really expect me to jump for joy and agree to such an absurd suggestion? Agree? No. But I do expect you to ponder it. You can deny that urging the urgings of fate, son of Magnus. You have been chosen to my own fate. My fate is my own, Cortez. I choose to do what I want to do, where I want to go. Go ahead, kill me. It won't change anything. The truth I bring is one you already know. You are Magneto's son, Magneto's heir, and no matter how fast you run, your heritage will overtake you. In the end now, Voight, transport us out of here. No, I'll see you again, Pietro, very soon, I think. Hey, I thought of this was a no-smoking zone. They're taking off. But why? They didn't even take out the Sentinels or do any major damage to the base. Perhaps our aims weren't as obvious as all that havoc. Perhaps our main goal today was to plant a seed, which in time will grow to an oak so tall, so strong, that even the Lord Magnus himself, and that's so she's the one, uh, Voight, yeah, that, and Voight was in the sh uh, show too. She was in X-Men 97. She was one of the, yeah, I think she was like crying. She was like a first responder, right? Which in time will grow to an, an oak so tall, so strong, Strong, that even the Lord Magnus himself would look upon it with awe. Alex, look, they're gone. The Sentinels. What if I was wrong? What if they are, they've managed to teleport them out too? No, it was Kelly. He had a backup plan to move the Sentinels out before... <sighs> Val, Val, what, what's wrong? I, <sighs> I don't... Val, what is that horror? Hey, Val, it's a nothing to be embarrassed about. I did the same back on the ship. Zip it, Guido. I remember. What was it? Tell us. They took me, the acolytes, and planted that 
that disgusting thing in me they mind controlled controlled my mind they made me they made me see x factor 87 oh please you've got to forgive me i i didn't mean to bring you here to betray you like this i was programmed i had to vow i'm truly sorry for what the acolytes did to you but in some ways it's no different than what you've been doing to us all along no but and was lying about project wide awake part of the programming i don't want to hear your lame excuses alex you didn't have the right to i have every right you don't understand project wide awake is only in place as a fail safe in case X Factor doesn't work. Pietro, you understand I did what I had to do for national security. I, I just was just following orders. An unfortunate choice of phrase, Valerie. One that echoes again and again at Nuremberg when the murders of my father's people, of my people, sought exploitation of their sins. But you can't possibly compare this to all of you. Are You're just not some hired underlings. You're my friends you're my friends some of my best friends are mutants ah oh, valerie how very typical of a flat scan the end and they all walk away that's the ending of government run x factor for now Let's see if they go back behold the son of magneto 30 anniversary bonus pinup cortez holding up quicksilver there's feral strong guy polaris havoc multiple man that's it so we're done with that one there's a pretty good amount of dialogue in that there's some good action scenes a little bit of everything that's all i got for today guys thanks for watching if you like this video please like subscribe and share this out to any and everyone that you think is interested in real star wars and real marvel content until next time see you later